we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, finding the volume of this shaded area between our line, which is over here in purple, and our parabola, which is over here in the kind of brownish color. We got to look at the area in between those, which is kind of this shape right in here. So this is our shaded area, and we're going to revolve that around the x-axis, which is right here. So this is going to come out at you, go down and around, come back through and go around. So that ends up leaving us a hole in the middle. When you have a hole in the middle, it ends up being a washer. Once again, <coughs> just like with the disk, a horizontal axis of revolution, you need to be dealing with axes. So we're going to have axes here. Your bounds then, you need to look at uh, your x of where you start here, which is 0, over to our x of where they meet over here on the right, which is 2. So our bounds go from 0 to 2. Then we need to go ahead and we need to look at our radius. Your outer radius goes from your top function to your axis of revolution, which is here in red. So that's our top function, which is our line, minus our axis of revolution, which is 0. So it's just our line minus 0, so it's just our line, all squared, because you're doing a washer, so you're doing your outer squared minus your inner squared. The whole is what we're looking at right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inner part. The inner part would go from here down to here. So this is our radius of our hole, so you've got to take what's on top, which is your parabola, minus what's on the bottom, which in this case is our axis of revolution of 0. So we've got to take our parabola minus 0. That's our inner radius that we have to have squared. So now we have our outer radius squared minus our inner radius squared, and we need to integrate that from 0 to 2. So we're going to go ahead and FOIL this out minus what we get when we FOIL that out. Then we can go ahead and combine some like terms. Then we can integrate by increasing our exponents. And then we can go ahead and plug in our 2, minus what we get when we plug in 0. And then we end up getting 48 pi over 5. 